The News 4 Jack's I team is looking at semis on the road and the dangers that can be associated with them. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, nearly 4,000 people die each year in wrecks involving big trucks. Two thirds of them were in passenger vehicles. News 4 Jack's I team investigator Vic Michalucci is joining us live with more on this particular kind of hazard on our highways. Vic. Yeah, there are trucks all over the place, including behind me on I-95 in downtown Jacksonville. State troopers still trying to find out the cause of this horrific wreck. But we do know that the severity is contributed to the fact that you had two semi trucks here. They are large, they are hard to stop, and they carry a lot of fuel, which is why experts say you need to be extra careful around them. Tractor trailer trucks are all over our roadways, especially the highways. And these 40 ton trucks can't stop on a dime. I think people really need to have a better understanding of just how much space these trucks need when they're going down the roadway. Joe Lackey runs FSCJ's commercial vehicle driving program. He's also a former truck driver. He took us on the road to show us why these crashes can be so deadly. I feel like it, but we're doing 65, almost 70 miles an hour. And watch when I hit the brakes, it's going to take quite a bit of distance to stop. Even under good conditions, that's around three football fields. A fully loaded semi weighs up to 80,000 pounds. A guardrail is not going to stop it. No, no, not at all. That much weight going at highway speed is going to go right through that guardrail. It's going to be like going through hot uh, butter. Thursday's crash was a fiery one. Lackey says it could be caused by a number of factors. Oil, gasoline, diesel, even the air in the tires. You know, in here you can put up to 150 gallons of diesel fuel. And then there's usually one on both sides. So with a fully loaded truck, you've got 300 gallons of fuel. It's unclear if this tragedy could have been prevented. But this expert tells us safety around semis is everyone's responsibility. Statistics bear out. It's usually not the truck driver's fault. Somebody got in front of him too soon, hit the brakes too hard, didn't signal their intent or whatever the case may be, and caused that driver to react. Truck drivers, when you see them, they're at work. You know, they're the professional driver. They've probably got more sleep than the average car driver. They're subject to random drug tests. Lackey says it is so important that other drivers give these semi trucks enough space, eight, nine paces behind them, just in case they have to stop, they have to break in an emergency situation. That way you will have enough room to keep your vehicle away from colliding with these very large semis. We're live tonight. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, when I was taught to drive, I was taught it was always safer to pass on the left. Is that true when passing one of these big trucks? I spoke with experts about that, including at another trucking company, and they said, yes, pass on the left. If you cannot do that, slow down, you can pass on the right, but you got to be careful because those blind spots are on both sides of the vehicle. They are worse on the right side. That's why you want to be guided to the left. So if you are in a large enough highway, you want to give a lane of space in between you and that semi truck, which would be on your left, if you are passing on the right. Vic Michalucci reporting to us live. Thank you, Vic.